So now for another experiment, we have the line emission spectrum of hydrogen. And I've also got some other elements here. So here's what they do. They've got gas inside a discharge tube. In this case, the gas is hydrogen. And they hook it up to electrodes and they basically, so to speak, pump an electric current through here. And that electric current, in simplistic terms, activates the gas. Basically, it puts it into a higher energy level. And ultimately, when it's activated, the gas will actually release light. Now, what they did is they actually had the light exit through a slit, and the light hits a prism, which diffracts the light and could potentially separate it into um, its various colors. So if energy was not quantized, if this light energy was not quantized, then you would just see a rainbow on here, like the complete rainbow. But what you see is when they activate the hydrogen gas with the electric current, the light is emitted, it goes through the prism, you only see a few marks. You see red here, you see blue-green, blue-violet, and violet. Here's another look of what they found right here. Here's the hydrogen emission spectrum. So what you see here is there is not a continuum of values. There's only discrete values, and that value is given as the nanometers, the wavelength, right? But we know that wavelength is related to energy. So basically what they're saying here is energy is not a continuum of values on the quantum level. It is quantized. It only takes on discrete values. And this experiment was replicated with a bunch of other elements of so sodium, not near as complicated, but it's still discrete, helium, neon, mercury, and so on and so forth. You can do this with any of the elements. And what you'll find is the energy only takes on discrete values, or discrete wavelengths, all right? And this, along with all the previous experiments with the ultraviolet catastrophe and black body radiation with Max Planck, the photoelectric effect with Albert Einstein, Bohr's correction and postulates about the model of the atom. Now with the line emission spectrum of hydrogen and these other uh, particles or these other elements, we now know that energy does not take on a continuum of values and possibly particles like electrons don't either. They take on discrete values of energy, discrete values of angular momentum. And this, at the very turn of the 20th century, initiated the field of quantum mechanics. So now, we must make several postulates in the discipline of quantum mechanics. And I'm going to end this playlist with this. And so what we're going to do now is switch playlists. So I recommend you go look at the playlist where we talk about the postulates of quantum mechanics. And there are several of them, and we'll jump right into the discipline. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe.